Monday, April 29th, 2024. The view has been off for a week and they come back and they don't even mention one word about Donald Trump's criminal trial. He's been farting. He smells. He's been falling asleep. Um, you know, they've been setting up this whole uh, catch and kill story thing with the uh, publisher of the National Enquirer. Like, uh, fucking president is on trial. <laughs> They're not discussing it at all today. Oh, anyway, um, they did talk about all the campus protests going on around the country. Um for uh against the violence in uh in Israel and Palestine and <clears throat> i just don't understand how you like every time we talk about these kinds of things we still have to have the caveat and the understanding of saying when we say we don't approve of what israel is doing it doesn't mean we hate jews when we say we don't approve of what um hamas is doing it doesn't mean we hate palestinians like i just don't get how you people immediately lump an entire um nation or um uh, or uh, ethnicity of people based on what's happening politically it just makes no sense um you know <laughs> does that happen i mean I, I mean i guess you know when the united states government does terrible things that you know people around the world say death to americans so i guess i guess it's kind of weirdly um human nature but i don't think it is i don't think that's natural at all i think the whole thing is fucked up um you can talk about uh the sort of government decisions and military decisions separately from um who large masses of people are um it, it just doesn't make any sense and i don't understand everybody always says yeah everybody has the right to peacefully protest but when the peaceful protests lead to <laughs> the peaceful protests that are about ending the violence then become violent themselves um that's no longer a peaceful protest and that's when you yeah there are consequences to that um i don't understand going into peaceful protests with um nightsticks and uh, and arresting people um i don't think you attack a peaceful protest with um anger and violence uh, as law enforcement that doesn't make any sense to me either um so and i know that the, you know there are uh factions of, of people and groups of people that um that take advantage of any kind of protest that's happening and they're just serial agitators their whole purpose is just to go in and um fuck things up and uh, that's kind of it, the anarchist bullshit needs to be locked up um but you, you know uh I, I see the stuff that's going on in Colombia and they're setting up these camps and um, they're trying to make a point. And uh, I don't think that that should be dismissed in any way. Um, but uh, there also comes a point when it's like, you know what, you're not going to get your way. <laughs> and, you know, this is a functioning uh, institution um, that needs to be able to function. And if you're in the way of it functioning, uh, you may get removed um so there's consequences to the whole process um and everybody needs to understand that going in uh nobody it comes out of this 100 percent correct or 100 percent incorrect it's um it, 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 there are jobs to be done on both sides of it and uh 100 percent people should be making their, themselves heard um but uh you know there are consequences to the process of doing that. Um, you know, I, I I always like the people that, you know, they, they want to protest um, car traffic by taking their bikes and snarling traffic. It's like you've won no one over on your argument there. <laughs> so, you know, people want to think about what, what message they're sending and what, uh, what actions they want out of the actions that they're um, uh, perpetuating. And then, and then we talked about Christy Noem. What a psychopath. I mean, you have to be some level of psychopath to find that behavior in any way appropriate or excusable. She just murdered a 14 month old puppy it, 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 and threw it in a gravel pit, like shot it in the head and threw it in a gravel pit. It, it would have taken less effort to write one post on social media that says, 
I can't keep this puppy. Can someone come get it? And a million um, organizations would have come and taken that dog. I, 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 it is unfathomable to me the kind of person who would do that. And then to fucking brag about it. Like that's going to sell her book. Well, she sure got her name in the papers. Everybody's talking about her, but not in a good way. I mean, even gun people don't like this. You don't, they don't, you don't want you to kill a puppy. Um, the only kind of people who like this are, uh, you know, gotta be some sort of hillbilly sociopath. Um, so fuck you, Christy Gnome. Um, you're a fucking monster. Um, I hope this kind of, I hope this ends her political career. I doubt it will, but it would be nice. Um, I would like people of her ilk to just stop being in charge of anything. Um, and I would also like whoever's running that fucking lawnmower <laughs> to stop. I don't, we don't need all these gas powered machines all the time. I just have a little real mower that just, just makes no noise, take, makes no gas, doesn't plug into anything. Um, but I also think lawns are dumb. We should have, we should be reducing lawns. They're the, they take up the most maintenance and the most water of anything else in the garden. So um, there, that's my rant from my patio.